options. Is options. Options, options, options. Yes, Greg. Okay. Boys, I knew options. Mm -hmm. All right. This broke fix thing is a killer. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't. Want, I don't want to try to push. I'm not selling them something that they don't need. Uh, well, who are you to say what they need and don't need? Right. Okay. Already, Mrs. Jones is in the position right now with what's going on with every you know the government and everybody telling what she can't do. Mm -hmm. She can't go outside. She can't get her hair done. All right. She can't go to the store. All right. Mm -hmm. She can't stand next to people. All right, you can't do this, you can't do that. Who are right. you to tell somebody what Who they can you? and can't do? Right. All right, mm -hmm. all right. It's just part of um, the experience here. I got three C's for you. Okay, okay. one one is choice. Okay, choice. You look okay. look. We all have choice in our in our buying experience. You know, you go to Walmart. Okay, normally when you go to the toilet paper roll, you know aisle, you have choice in toilet paper. Right now <laughs> no, we don't. Not okay? anymore. But normally you do. Okay, not <laughs> yeah. just one type of toilet paper. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got extra soft, you got extra crunchy, okay? You got extra rough, okay? Oh. You got extra whatever, okay? Okay. All right, you got it with, you know, I okay? All right, you have choices. Mm -hmm. And everything, we go, we go to the restaurant, there's choices, mm -hmm. okay? Whether we're looking at a menu, you when know? there was a restaurant. Okay, well, remember yes. when they had restaurants, remember those things where you could go out and mm -hmm. sit down at a table? Right, okay, Close or to you people. could go up someplace and right there with everybody mm -hmm. else and order off a, you know? Uh, we were watching a movie over the weekend and um, it had different scenes of, you know, just of the movie, and there were people at a restaurant and people out and about, and it's like I longingly What's looked like, at that and went, "Oh!" For a moment, I actually had. But for a moment, we were watching that. I know we were uh. talking. It was like, "I hey, don't think know there's supposed to be some separation." <laughs> I mean, I had this right in this moment of, "Well, how did, why did they get to do that? How come they right. get to be? Oh, I miss right. being out." Okay, but we have Sorry. choices. That is the Girl. normal buying experience Correct. for all of us. Mm -hmm. For all of us. Okay, and it is for your customer too. Yep. So to hey. walk in there mm -hmm. and just say, uh, uh, that, that is awkward. That's right. uncomfortable. Okay. Greg's saying only one option is an ultimatum. That's correct. That's good. You must Gosh, have been on the show. You've been, been the watching because you've been listening. <laughs> okay, right. That's exactly right. Uh -huh. What you're doing is saying, take it or leave it. Right. All right. And I know best. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, again, we're, we're placing the customer who's already uncomfortable. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Correct. No one wants to spend money with a plumber. No one wants to deal with a plumber. Okay. Nope. I know we love us and we know we're <laughs> essential. All mm -hmm. right. All right. Now the government says we're essential. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stand but the customer still is not buying into it, really. Right. Okay. They still don't want you there. They still don't want us there. Right. Okay. But so, you are there. So we want to make them comfortable. Mm -hmm. Provide choices right. by doing options. Okay. Another C word here I have is control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give the. By providing options, you give the customer control, Always. okay? Not just with choices, but get this. Your customer wants to say no. What? Mm -hmm. I know, and it's hard to believe. Well, they called me out there. They got me out there. Believe me, the customer wants to go, no. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. Get out. Get out of here, right. <laughs> They're looking for something to say no to. Mm -hmm. So give them something to say no to, okay? Right. We're, we're going to give options, okay? And preferably with, with this, all right? We want to do it in a good, better, best. Okay, that's uh, that's we're used to that kind of um, uh, delivery. Okay, good, better, best. Kind of like you know, um, you know, this one's too cold, this one's too hot. You know, it's the Goldilocks thing. All mm -hmm. right, but this one's just right. Just okay, right. all right. Where we're used to that. And if you look at, uh, I'm not going to go in the deep end. I know um, uh, CF if he's still on here. I know that he does some good teaching on this. Uh, CF the plumbing sales coach. Mm -hmm. Okay on you know how other uh, industries have this is part of the, the style we're, we're given options you know we have it in the auto industry and all, all different kinds of industries mm -hmm. um deliver this us to this way so we're used to this good better best okay right um i personally hi highly recommend and been very good with this that you know doing just the three option a good better best by offering too many options um, it's it, they get confused and then a the confused customer wants to just shut down uh, let me let me think about it i got to think about it Okay, so just just three options, right. all right. Mm -hmm. Also, by providing three options, yes. another C word is it, it gives um, consideration. Okay, they have something to consider. More directly, what that means is it gives them price perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you give them the first what the um, you know your good, better, best, and I prefer delivering it in this manner. Okay, in in the good, better, best, a fix. Mm -hmm. Okay, an upgrade and a replace. Right. Replacement. I know there's others out there in different mm -hmm. styles. We'll say give them the replacement and then come down to the fix. Mm -hmm. I personally like to earn the customers. Um, um, trust right up right up front by saying, Mrs. Jones, the reason why you called us out here is because of this. 
mm-hmm. and here's what this costs to replace this. Oh my, it's fifty dollars, <laughs> fifty dollars for that, you know. And, and you know, whatever they, whether they start crying or they throw up, you know, or they just your know, head turns around like the Exodus, you know, the Exorcist, <laughs> Ex- or, okay, or you know, or they just break down. You mm-hmm. know, we've actually seen that. I know that we've actually seen customers. How many have you had a customer that has started to cry okay. when you're there? Anybody? Right. We, I mean, it didn't happen a lot. But, didn't ha- but we've had that. But when we've it had does, yell. oh my gosh. Uh, CF has a funny story of where the customer actually was threatening him. Pot on the arm. was good. <laughs> throw him out. Arm. But he wanted, you know, okay. Um, it, it happens, all right, with one. So it's always more than mm-hmm. what they expect because they don't want to spend money with a plumber. Correct. Okay, all right. But with price perspective, now I would give them the, you know, the... Um, you know, the better option, okay, they see a higher price for something, all mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then finally, the best is, a, you know, higher price. So, um, you know, for example, uh, you know, a flapper, our flapper, you know, replacing a flapper, toilet's running. Well, Mrs. Jones, the reason we've been hearing that tinkling sound is the, the flapper, and, and we have the, you know, replace this flapper and is $189, okay? Mm-hmm. Then we had a minor toilet rebuild, which is replacing the, the flapper and, and, and the, the fill valve, okay? And to do that is, you know, $329. And, you know, $29. Right. Um, but Mrs. Jones, your toilet also, you know, is you know, over 10 years old here, you know, and we recommend replacing possibly a new toilet here and we had that kind of discussion she, she sees six hundred dollars okay mm-hmm. well now after seeing those other higher prices 189 dollars doesn't seem as high it gives doesn't a price perspective so bad. okay mm-hmm. all right and we're used to that you see this all the time right. all right yep. all right mm-hmm. all right Lance I've, had says them, I've, I've had him had a heart attack a heart attack mm-hmm. seriously I mean, it's, you, you know, Yikes. again, no one That's wants to spend good. money with a plumber, okay? Mm-hmm. So you, you want to give them, you know, with price perspective. Mm-hmm. And also, mm-hmm. look, um, I recommend too, and I'm, we're playing the averages here, okay? okay. It's kind of like the thing, you know, I had, I had Bob Hope. Some of you don't know who Bob Hope is. Of course they I played don't golf know. with Bob Hope. No one knows who Bob Hope is, honey. The older guys don't know who Bob Hope Does is. Does anybody? Okay, but I played golf Bob, with Bob Hope. And I'm, I'm swinging this thing, and I'm knocking the ball, foo, foo, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and Bob Hope told me, Dickie, mm-hmm. okay, don't repeat that, guys. <laughs> okay, Dickie, all right, just, just keep it down in the middle of the lane, mm. in the, the fairway. fairway. Just, just hit it down the middle. Even if you, even you only knock it 40 yards, it's down the middle. Mm-hmm. Keep it down the middle. Keep it down the middle. Play the averages. Mm-hmm. It's the same kind of thing. You, know, you want to do you know, three yards, five yards, first down. Three yards, five yards, first down. Mm-hmm. Okay? Instead of just going for the bomb every single time. Okay? You want to do the same kind of a thing. So keep it in the lane w- with your options. So I just used the example, like the, the flapper. What, what I mean by keep it in the lane, keep it within the fixture in the room. Okay, mm-hmm. the guys understand this. It's easier for them to transition in this. You don't, you don't have to be a salesman. Okay, you're not a good salesman. Okay, you're not CF the plumbing sales coach. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> unless you start taking his stuff. Okay, that's why I want to. That's why I want to be prepared. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you're, oh, yeah. you're really looking to get better with sales, mm-hmm. all right, type CF in the C-F? comments. Okay, or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash CF mm-hmm. as in CF. Training. The plumbing sales coach, okay, and <laughs> as check in out Chris Fresh. As in Chris Fresh, okay. <laughs> He's got a great uh, plumbing sales um, right. series that he has. Okay, but yep, starting out training. here, mm-hmm. just to keep that's master training, mm-hmm. okay. And he'll always hit on the options as well. Just it's good for your guys to be involved in that stuff and mm-hmm. hear on that. But right. but starting out here, it's just you just want to get first downs, first downs, especially during these times. Is stay within your lane, okay? Mm-hmm. A flapper. To, you know, uh, keep it within the toilet, minor rebuild and a new toilet. Okay. It's easy for your guys to do that. It's, you know, it's tough enough just getting to doing the options. And also the customer understands that unless you're good at serving the customer, truly good when serving the customer, you don't have to sell, but serving the customer, right? right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is really selling. Selling is not a bad thing. We're all involved in selling in one way or another. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's tough to go from a toilet to, you know, a PRV and a water softener. The customer doesn't understand if you're not good at, at, communicating with them in that manner okay mm-hmm. but right now we just want to get that third you know three yards five yards first down three yards five yards first down and that adds up okay all right sure makes does. sense okay. okay sure does to me today i get and, it and options mm-hmm. okay and options